Good day. Hope that this uh, video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day. One of the cards to take a look at Christy Gnome and see if she has managed to completely deep six her career based on her own foolishness. I mean, this woman, this woman wins an award for... This is what happens when you get high on your own supply. These governors or politicians, Republican, these mega, they're so used to just spewing complete and total BS and nobody ever calls them on it because, well, you know, they're playing to the low information um, voter group and uh, they don't care and they don't have to listen to experts or et cetera, et cetera. And then all of a sudden there's a breakthrough and they get out into the real world and they find out that it's not quite the soft, cushy gig that they got when they were lying to the tribe. What's happened with Chrissy Nome, who was probably a credible choice for VP for Donald Trump and very high on kind of everybody's ranking list. Well, she blew it over the last two weeks. She's published an autobiography, no doubt to burnish her credentials as what a tough chick this is. And so she relates the story about how she, in a tough decision, how she can make the unpopular decisions, recounts how she shot a 14-month-old puppy because she hadn't bothered to train it on how to hunt. Because apparently in South Dakota, they don't have dog trainers, so they've never heard of them, so whatever. They also don't have any veterinarians in South Dakota. This is obvious because she also, on the same day, shot a billy goat who was, you know, cantankerous, not as billy goats, and uh, stunk. Uh, again, that's billy goats. Anybody who's spent any time around goats knows that intact male goats stink to high heavens. That's how they attract the lady goats. So if you want, if you have a male goat and you don't want to deal with the stench of them, then they can be ripe. Then you have them fixed. You have them castrated. And a vet comes out. Vets come out to farms all the time and perform these services. So why this? She's such a, a rancher and a hunter and, and all this sort of stuff. And she doesn't know the basics? Again high in your own supply. She is used to being able to to flub this persona off on the mega right and everybody believes that, you know, she's just a good old farm girl. <laughs> Hello. She apparently doesn't know the basics. So, I think she has managed to deep six her political career, like really. Trump's not going to take her because he's not going to hang on to that kind of baggage. And she's term limited as governor, so she can't rerun for that. So, you know, is her goose cooked? What's she, what's she doing here? She's up for, or she's out of office in, in 26. So, just going to do a Celtic cross on here so we can get some idea of what the next steps for... Christy Nome is because any vice president of the United States is not governor of South Dakota and it's probably not politics, period. Okay, where are the and The Lifeline Tarot. Color Outside the Lines Edition. And this is by Thomas of Hermit's Mirror. Really nice deck. Um, one, one of these ones, again, that I backed on Kickstarter and... I will be doing a review of it at a later point in time. Okay. <clears throat> Signifier on this Celtic cross, we have the Justice card in reverse. And of course, this is a card that's about injustice, which is what she did to Doug, and um, dishonesty, and just uh, a basic corruption. This is not a, a good woman. This She is not what you call of a solid moral character but she's confident as hell according to the queen of wands so she really is uh, relying on sort of her vivaciousness and how this very charismatic 
kind of persona is carrying her through, covering up the warts, if you will. In the past, we have the Two of Pentacles, and it's in a reverse position. This would indicate an overextension, that there's fluctuations in the universe, and she just can't roll with them. <sighs> Overextended? Yeah, I think she has. One, of, one is an indication that she's come up to her, her term limit. It's, but the other thing also is that she has, you know, had to whittle in enough cornflakes that nobody takes her seriously as a politician or a potential political character. But according to the future physician, she's going to come out victorious. We have the six of wands. So this is going to be... Um, you know, a card that's about success and winning and recognition and having all kinds of confidence. Well, she's got, she really does have a lot of confidence, not particularly well earned. She is high on her own supply. She believes, she believes the nonsense that she's been selling to the low information voters. And uh, she's right now, because people are calling her on her utter poppycock, like, She's met with the North Korean dictator, Kim Jong-un. No, she didn't. But interestingly enough, when you see her on uh, news reports that she has been pegged on this. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. And it's like, oh, I don't discuss my meeting with world leaders. She can't bring herself to admit that she just out and out lied about it. She never talked to him, period. In the sky of the reading, the overarching energy, kind of the goals, the things where things are going. Oh, we have the Nine of Swords, and it's, it's about nightmares and anguish and upset and despair and being worried. So things aren't exactly cooking with gas for Christy Gnome. And the foundation of the reading, what's holding it up, the kind of energy that supports it or where it's based in. And we have, this is no surprise, the King of Wands in reverse. This is Mr. Act Now and Think Later. He's impulsive and reckless and very arrogant. Again, with this whole idea, high on your own supply. She is believing the crap that she has been spewing for oh so long. On, message from Spirit. Nine of Pentacles in a reverse position. Nine of Pentacles, when it is reversed, is talking about materialism and is really about envying the wealth of others. This is not something you have on your own, which it would be when it, if it was in its uh, upright position, but when it's reversed, it's your envy that you have. You're jealous of other people's um, good fortune and good luck kind of overlooked or overworked or overextended also comes into it and it can be something that really makes you question your self-worth once again if you have established your sense of identity on some of these material outside things then when they're taken away from you it can be very hard to maintain a sense of self-worth in the environment, we have the Six of Swords. And this is a card that's about transition and moving on to, you know, calmer waters and healing. So she does have a future here. And then she's going to be leaving the political scene, I think, and heading out to some other area where she will be successful. Um, in the hopes and fears, we have the... Four of Pentacles in a reverse position. And this is a card that's often, I mean, it's the Miser's card reverse. So it's about letting go or learning to let go. But it can be also about over overspending or just uh, kind of throwing away your resources without making them productive. I think she's burnt a lot of political bridges. That's what I think this is about. That's what she is throwing away here is the the political cachet that she had and she has like destroyed it. She's overspent that account. And final outcome, we have the King of Swords. This in a reverse position. King of Swords when he's reversed, we're talking about cruelty, which is 
she is clearly a cruel person and abuse of power this is going to continue to haunt her i think her abuse of power um i mean is it 20 percent of the state she can't go to because most of the uh, native american tribes have refused to allow her on tribal lands yeah she's very and certainly her performance um of hosting a super spreader event during the COVID pandemic, which of course fanned out all through the United States, probably didn't do anything to ingratiate herself with the, the normals. So she is really somebody who can work very well in this mega universe of make believe, but does not translate well when she tries to step outside the bubble and see what she's going to to do because there's not enough people that believe the crazy and in the shadow card we have the wheel in a reverse position and this is kind of a card that's about resistance change and you know some degree of misfortune that's coming from now just kind of overlooking the 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 cards here i am curious about that six of wands which is a very powerful yes card and very positive kind of energy in that future position so i think i'm going to take a minute and i'd like to pull a clarifier just a five card spread on if we have any hints from from spirit as to where her next area might be and I'm going to go shuffle those cards right now. I'm going to be using the One World Tarot by Lena Rodriguez and Sienna Rose. And I will be back with you as soon as I get these shuffled. Just going to do a five card reading on here just to see if we can get some kind of sense as to where we're going or what direction her future is going into. And uh, the first card in this reading that we have is the Knight of Pentacles in a reverse position. The Knight of Pentacles, when he's reversed, is kind of a lazy creature. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving of the knights. So when he's reversed, it goes from just, you know, careful plodding along to actual too lazy to do something and a little bit bored. So... She is not really somebody who is going to grab onto a new idea. She's going to try and build on what she has already accomplished or her, her reputation that she has, which unfortunately with these latest gaffes has really taken a beating. And we see this in the Queen of Wands in a reverse position, which is a, a kind of a crossing card if you will in this five card layout and the queen of wands when she is reversed unlike she was upright in the first reading this is about lacking self-confidence this whole debacle that she has gone through um of late where she's just been called out for what she is which is a complete you know fatalist um is is really hurting her and she has been taken by surprise i mean here you have like i said you get another one of these republican politicians high on her own supply she is so used to just being uncritically examined by you know her low information voter base and then all of a sudden you know they break out of the information silo and get into the real world and all of a sudden the liberal media and the mainstream media is all picking on them and here we go and this is what it is she is really taking this hard um it's it's rattling her three of cups in the main energy of this reading here um uh, now three of cups of course is about celebration friendship so yeah she's going to have people around her that are going to be pulling for her. the other thing too is if you're looking kind of for areas or sectors that she might find something in three of cups is associated with um, the hospitality industry very much and any kinds of things like vineyards like winemaking distilleries um, beer production or anything further into like 
agriculture or development of agricultural products. So, I mean, she grew up on a farm and was involved with like a hunting lodge in her youth. And certainly the whole cricket story comes from her putting down this 14 month old puppy because he didn't behave well at a, a paid hunt and embarrassed her. Um, so she might go back into that area, but I actually kind of, I've drawn more to like crowd situations. So I can, I can almost see like, um, a sense of like lobbying for either the hospitality or uh, hunting, fishing kind of industry or lobbyist around agriculture. It could be nothing really coming out, but that's just kind of what I'm getting a call towards. And, oh, but she's got an obstacle in front of her. And the obstacle, unfortunately, happens to be the Queen of Swords, Judith herself. This, she has done so much damage. She has undercut her credibility so badly with this fabulous tale, which nobody in their right mind believes. And in addition, she has, like, she keeps doubling down on it and coming up with, I don't know what it is. What is it about Republican politicians who think that your non-answers are going to pass muster? Because she's, uh, every time she's been interviewed on this, just instead of just saying, no, I never met the Korean dictator Kim Jong-un and that it shouldn't have been in the book, she's just, on and on. Well, I don't talk about my meetings with world leaders, etc. Or, you know, Macron or whatever. Just, just, you need to come clean and quit trying to pretend and quit trying to pretend like you're taking the high moral ground. You got caught in a barefaced lie. Just own it. But she won't. And that is going to continue to erode her credibility but it's going to work out all right overall because we have the wheel of fortune this time it's in an upright position really interesting that the final card on the clarifier is the same as the final card on the main reading and this is about you know it's a turning point but it's associated with good fortune and you know kind of moving towards her destiny so i think she's going to do all right i don't know what it's going to be in but she, i don't think she's got any room really in public legislative leadership kind of things. This is just, I don't think it's in the cards right now. Of course, that could change. She's in office until 26. So that is my reading for today. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.